Berg is getting some improvements. Members of the Panama City Beach City Council had a special meeting to discuss them. News Channel 7's Marissa Dre reports on what they'll be adding to the park. Frank Brown is getting more than just a facelift. What we added today is an, uh, we're going to build a new skate park, uh, uh, enlarge the basketball court, move it, and also build a... Uh, 10 pickleball courts. On Thursday, members of the Beach Council approved adding new amenities to the park. We are expanding our basketball uh, courts, adding two more of those, and uh, additional parking at Frank Brown, which is very much needed during big events. Right now, Frank Brown Park only has two outdoor basketball courts. We currently have two outdoor courts, and they stay very busy. And the park has one indoor basketball court. It limits our indoor programming, so to have more options, we can add. The possibilities are endless. But the indoor basketball court will also double as a safe room, short-term tornado shelter. It's also going to open up a lot of programming opportunities for us. Another indoor basketball facility we will have options for indoor pickleball, as well as classrooms to be able to do our summer camps and more programs. Cheryl Joyner, the director of Parks and Recreation, says there is something for everyone at Frank Brown. I mean, you can come here, take your dog to the park, you can fish, you can play tennis. Now we're going to have a, a skate park option. But the city still has to get construction bids for the project. Once they address stormwater and look at all the parking issues, the, the next uh, steps are going to be a, a restroom and pavilion for our Miracle League field, um, a skate park and new outdoor basketball courts with an increase in size. And city officials say the improvements were around $4 million. In Panama City Beach, Marissa Jure, News Channel 7.